Hi, I'm Brooks Lehman. I'm a very senior Maxim applications engineer, and I'm here to explain why, for switching converter simulation, Simplis is better than Spice. Now, what's wrong with Spice simulation for switching power conversion? Simulation can be difficult in both the time and frequency domain. Spice time domain simulations take too long and may not converge or finish at all. Frequency domain simulations require either additional modeling efforts or you must run several time domain simulations with heavy FFT post-processing and I'll show you an example shortly. The problem is that if simulations do not run both quickly and reliably then development takes too long, schedules stretch out, important dates and critical circuit behavior can be missed. Why should you use Simplis instead of Spice? Simplis is faster by a factor of 4 up to a factor of 50. Simplis does not suffer the convergence failures common to Spice. AC analysis is built in. No problem with Bode plots. So what types of simulations should we run? A good power conversion simulator should run Bode plots quickly and easily, which will confirm stability predict transient response, and make compensation easier to debug and optimize. It should run transient response for either load or line steps. It should run startup simulations. And you should be able to show that simulated results accurately correlate with laboratory measurements. So, let me show you the simplest simulator. Here is our MAX 17245 schematic. We simply run the simulation to first establish equilibrium or steady state as shown by both the switching waveforms and the output ripple voltage waveform and then collect the automatically generated Bode plot. Check the bandwidth to gain crossover. In this case 52 kilohertz as shown by both the cursor and the numeric readout. More bandwidth means faster response, less required alpha capacitance, and less converter cost. Now check the phase margin, which ensures the output is immune from line and load disturbances. In this case, 66 degrees, quite conservative. Bode plots are simple and quick with Simplis, difficult and time consuming with Spice. Here's an example of trying to get a Bode plot out of Spice. This was an attempt in SPICE to run multiple sequential time domain simulations, at least eight, each with a different AC stimulus frequency to create a set of time domain data from which we plan to use fast Fourier transform techniques to assemble one Bode plot. This takes a lot of time and effort when it works, and when it stops working and fails, you have to do it over. Let's go back to our simulation. Delete the waveforms and then select and launch the load step transient response simulation. Here we make sure the output voltage stays within the limits for reliable operation. Again, this simulation runs faster and simplest compared to SPICE. Now, what about startup? You run startup to make sure the output voltage rises at the right rate, does not overshoot or ring, and transitions cleanly into regulation. Just to show how much faster startup simulates in SIMPLIS compared to SPICE, the SIMPLIS model for our MAX15026 controller runs the startup simulation in 35 seconds. The equivalent SPICE simulation takes almost an hour. The startup runs much faster and simplest compared to SPICE. Now what about simulated results versus laboratory data? The simplest simulation is very accurate with excellent correlation to both transient response waveforms and Bode plots. Here we see less than 10 millivolt deviation out of a 150 millivolt transient response. The Bode plot matches to within 3 dB and 5 degrees phase. 
So we have shown you why, for switching power conversion simulations, Simplest is better than SPICE. Simplest performs time domain simulation faster than SPICE. Simplest delivers building plots in much less time and with much less effort than SPICE. And Simplest provides accurate simulation results to compare with lab measurements. I hope you now see why Simplest is the best power conversion simulator. Thank you.